Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. As most Arch users know, or I should say all of them would know, every month Arch Linux puts out a new ISO. And the new ISO is only to be used for installs. It's not to be used for upgrading your system. So you should only be upgrading your system through the normal way of going into the terminal and upgrading. So every month, I download the new ISO and I use it for two things. Number one, I burn it onto a thumb drive. So I always want to have a thumb drive with the latest ISO on it in case I have to do an install on a hard drive or in case I have to uh, do an emergency fix on a hard drive that won't reboot. And I also download the latest ISO in case I want to install a new virtual machine because I'm always installing new virtual machines of Arch Linux because uh, I use them for my videos and once in a while I delete the ones I have and I just do a fresh install. So I like to have the, the monthly ISO on my hard drive and also on a thumb drive. So I'm going to do it today on camera. So let's get to it. So I'm going to open up Firefox and I'm just going to go to uh, archlinux.org. And I'm just going to make this a little larger. And I'm going to go to download. And this ISO came out on June 1st, 2023. So I'm going to go down and select the mirror. And let's just do constant. Constant is usually a good mirror. So there's two here. You want to make sure you grab the one that has the HTTPS in it. And you can see here that this bottom one is just HTTP. I'm going to go for the top one, which is download from HTTPS. Click it on. And I'm going to download the ISO. And that's really going fast. It only takes a couple of seconds to download an Arch Linux ISO. And it's done. So now what I'm going to do is scan down. And now some people would grab the signature from the mirror where they're downloading from. Whoops. So you can see here, this is the constant mirror that I downloaded the ISO from. And you can download the signature as well. But I don't like to do that. I don't know if it's better to do it my way, but I think my way is better, but I could be wrong. So I don't like to download the signature from the mirror where I'm downloading the ISO. I download the signature from the Arch Linux website. So let's go back. So I'm going to go down. I'm on the Arch Linux website, and I'm going to download the signature. And I'm going to go here. So I'm downloading the signature. It only takes a second to do that. I'm going to CD ISO Arch. And I'm going to make a file. I'm going to make a directory called June 2023. Okay. I made a directory. So we list the files here in my Arch directory. I have May and I have June. And in here, I'm going to create a text. I'm going to go on, sorry, I'm going to go back into June. And there's nothing in there now, it's empty. And I'm going to create a text. Touch. Thumb. Text. Like that. Okay. So right now, the only thing I have in this June directory is some text. Now I'm going to see the other there, and I'm going to go back into my downloads. CD downloads. And I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to go back to Firefox. And this SHA 256. I'm going to copy it just like that and I'm going to go back here 
and I did that. I did all of this backwards. So I'm going to go back to CD ISO March June. And I'm going to open up this. And I'm going to vim sum and I'm going to paste it. Like that. I'm going to go to make a new line and I'm going to save the file. that again okay and I'm going to change name it shouldn't be called some text I'm going to move some to jaw text so ls it okay that's better now I'm going to cd into my downloads directory and I'm going to clear the screen I'm going to ls it. So I already downloaded a moment ago. I uh, have the Arch ISO. And I have the Arch Linux signature from their official site. So what I'm going to do is move these two files. So I'm going to move Arch ISO and Arch signature. I'm going to move them to home ISO arch June. I'm going to hit enter. Now let's clear the screen and let's see if they're gone. But now they're gone out of my download folder. I'm going to CD and a CD into ISO March, June. Let's clear the screen. Let's list the files. So now we have in this folder, now you don't have to go all through this rigmarole. You can do this in your download folder, but I just like to keep everything neat and clean. So in here I have in my ISO Arch Linux June 2023 folder. I have three files. I have the Arch Linux June ISO. I have the Arch Linux June ISO signature downloaded from the official Arch Linux website. And I also have a copy of the SHA text that I made. Again, copied from the official Arch Linux website, not from the mirror. So both these files, so the ISO came from the mirror. But these files came from the official Arch Linux website. When I downloaded and when I copied and pasted, I made a file, a blank empty file, and I copied and pasted into it. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the Arch Linux website. And I'm going to go click on installation guide. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to copy this. So this top line, you copy if you want to verify your signature and you're not using Arch Linux. And I'm not going to do that because I never did it before and I don't know how to do it. But if you're using Arch Linux and you want to verify it, copy the second line. So alternatively, from an existing Arch Linux installation, run this. I'm going to run it. Copy. I'm going to go back to here. And of course, I'm in the folder where it is. I'm going to hit insert. Now, this is not going to work. So you're going to have to delete this. Leave that there. That's all you want there. And then you want to type in arch. Like that. Hit enter. And there it is. It's verified the signature. The 
signature is good. So the next thing I want to do is this. Type in this command and your ISO file. So you're going to do arch and then you're not going to pick the signature one. You're going to pick the actual ISO. And hit enter. And it brings in this key. So what you're going to do is uh, copy this. So what I'm going to do is open up another terminal. And I'm going to CD into that directory. ISO. Arch. June. And then I'm going to vim into that SHA text. And I'm going to go down. And now I'm going to copy this. Let's just make that full screen. Let's just uh, ls it again. Let's type in that SHA command again. What we're going to do is copy this. Into here. So let's insert it. Okay. So this is the shot text. So this first line, this line we copied and pasted. We highlighted it. Copied it. And pasted it into this file and that is the key the first key line number one that's the key that we copied and pasted from the official arch linux website the second line we pulled out of the iso with that command in the terminal we actually extracted it from the iso and you can see it came from the arch linux iso and you can see that these two lines are exactly the same. And that's what you want. You want to make sure these two lines are exactly the same. And they are. And I save the file and keep it. You don't have to. But I keep it. So let's clear the screen. And that's, that's it. So we have now verified that our ISO is a good ISO. It has the proper signature in it. And the SHA text it's good, which means that the ISO hasn't been altered. So I don't really understand all these things. I'm not a developer. Uh, I just know that this is how you do it. And for me, verifying the ISO in Arch Linux is easier than any other uh, system. So anyways, the ISO is verified. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it onto a USB stick. So I'm going to go to PC Man FM, and I'm going to click this on. So you can see I have my Arch ISO in here on the thumb drive, and it's the 202305. So that means it's the May ISO on here. So I'm going to wipe out the May ISO and put the June ISO on there. And I just do this just to make sure that I'm not writing over a thumb drive I'm using for as backup or have important files on there. And then let's just unmount this. Let's go back into the terminal. Let's just ls blk. And now it's unmounted. So my thumb drive here is SDB. And it's a 14 gig thumb drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my directory where the ISO is. CD, ISO, Arch, June. I'm going to ls it, and then I'm going to change into root. Put my password in, and I did my password wrong. Change into root.
and admin. So now I'm going to type in this command cat arch ISO. And you want to make sure you pick the ISO and not the one with the signature on it. You don't want this one. You want this one. You leave a space, put an arrow in there, leave a space, type in dev slash stb. Now you want to make sure you have the right letters in here because you want to make sure you send it to the right drive. So if you're not sure, you could do LSBLK and you can see this 1.8 terabyte drive is my hard drive. This SDB is the thumb drive and it's like I said, it's 14 gigs. So let's just go back. Oops. What we do want to do is type in cat arch. And you want the ISO, not the one with the signature. Leave a space, put that arrow in, leave another space, slash, SDB, oops, sorry, slash, dev, slash, SDB. Just like that. And then you're going to hit enter. So let's go. And I'm not going to pause it because it's only going to take less than a minute. So, and also too, you can use GNOME uh, disks to do this as well. Um, if you're using a window manager, you might have to go into GNOME disks from the terminal from root and it's done. How about that, eh? It didn't take long at all. So. Let's just go back into our file manager. Now we're going to go to PC Man FM. And we can see here we have the Arch 2023 06 ISO. So that was just a short video showing how to download the most current Arch Linux ISO, how to verify it, and how to burn it onto a thumb drive. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Mansion.